In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to apply the Ken Burns effect on a single image. But let's say you wanted to apply a pan and zoom on several photographs at the same time. VS10 has a feature called Smart Pan and Zoom, which randomly applies many variations of the Ken Burns effect to all your photos in one shot. This is done through VS10's Movie Wizard, so let's explore the Movie Wizard's Smart Pan and Zoom feature. We're now on the screen that shows when you launch VS10. Click on the Movie Wizard. The Movie Wizard provides a quick workflow for users who are new to video editing. It guides you in a step-by-step -step manner to produce high-quality movies. Click on Insert Image and change over to the thumbnail view. Let's highlight these six baby photos and click Open. Now you can rearrange your photos. You can sort them by name or you can sort them by date. You can also manually move them around like this. The first image is very important because VS10 automatically puts the first photo in the template that we'll be using. This baby with the Santa hat looks really cute, so let's make this the first photo. Let's click Next. Now in this part of the wizard, you can select any of these pre-designed slideshow templates. They're all based on different themes such as vacation, baby story, school play, etc. Let's go ahead and pick the first template which gives you a backdrop of Times Square in New York. The wizard automatically picks the background music for you but you can change the music or add more music in the Audio Options dialog box. But we'll leave it the way it is. Now let's click on Settings. Now this option right here, called the Smart Pan and Zoom, gives you your Ken Burns effect. Keeping this option selected automatically applies various pan and zoom motion effects to each photo on the slideshow. This really makes your slideshow come to life. Now the Fit to Image Duration option makes the duration of the music exactly the same as the duration of the slideshow. These other two options do the reverse. They adjust the duration of the slideshow to match the duration of the music. They do that by adjusting the duration of the individual photos and transitions. We'll leave the default choice since we want the music to fit the slideshow. Let's click OK. Now let's change the title. All you have to do is double click the title. We'll call our slideshow Baby Theater. Now this is where you can change the text properties. You can change the font, the size, the color and the shadow attributes. Just play around till you get what you want. But remember, keep it simple. Click OK and move on to the next step. Click Next. Here we have a choice to create a video file, create a disk or further customize our project in the editor. This last option allows you two things. One, it lets you fine tune the project before you create your final output, but more importantly, it lets you save your project as a VSP file for further use. So we'll open the project in the video editor. We'll click Yes and Continue. Now let's switch to the timeline view. This section right here comes from the slideshow template theme that we selected in the wizard. Here is our music, this is our title, and this is the Times Square backdrop of New York we had selected earlier in the wizard. The cool thing about this template is that when you scrub the timeline, our baby shows up on a big billboard in Times Square. 
Notice that the baby actually moves within the billboard which shows you that the wizard actually applied a pan and zoom motion automatically for you. Now let's take a look at the individual photos. All of them have a pan and zoom applied. The first photo zooms out and the next one zooms in. Now here we are panning to the left. So you get the idea. All Ken Burns variations are randomly created for you. Now let's move the slider and go to the end of the slideshow. Notice that the ending title and the transitions are also created for you. Also notice that the music not only ends exactly where the slideshow ends, but also fades out nicely. So the wizard pretty much takes care of everything for you, so you don't really have to do much work. Now let's go ahead and save our project. We'll call it Baby Story and click Save. Now I've gone ahead and created some sample slideshows using three of the templates in the Movie Wizard. Let's have a look at them. The first one tells you Sam's story through a picture postcard. This second one is the baby theater that we just created. And this last one has more of a happy birthday feel to it. So that's about it. Next time you want to create a professional looking slideshow with Ken Burns style motion effects, make use of the Movie Wizard and the Smart Pan and Zoom option. You'll get excellent results, so go give it a try in your next project.